do you know what I said? I said, you think you've got it bad, Sonny? I said, I used to go out. I was working as a waitress. Mm-hmm. I used to get up at six o'clock working in the morning. Chip shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mentioned the chip you shop. You did mention the chippy. <laughs> chippy was brought in. I was working as a waitress. Then I went and worked in the chip shop. And then when I came home, I was doing this and that. And then your dad, he was up at three o'clock in the morning, plastering the bathroom. Never went to bed, luxury. Plastering the holes, the gunshot holes in the thing. <laughs> It was just, and he sat there and he drummed his fingers on the table, he did, didn't he? A few times. And he said to me, Hello. I could eat about a million and a half of these. Well, nobody's perfect. Welcome to the It's a Drama podcast. Daddy, I love you. My mother thanks you. If you can't say something nice. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close up. See, it's a drama podcast. I'm Liz. And I'm Brian. And today we have got a wonderful show for you. I'm using a different word every Cracker week. last time. I know, have you noticed? Yeah. Oh, just welcome back. Welcome to the show. If you are new to this podcast, we're Liz and Brian, husband and wife. We talk about all things in the middle. We talk about travel, about working online, about raising, rearing, hand rearing children. So you got done for that, didn't you, last week? Did you read that comment? No, what? I agree with Brian. Oh, really? Who yeah. said that? It was on... On YouTube? I think it was on YouTube, actually, yeah. I agree with Brian. Well, block like, them. Get I them blocked. I took a picture of it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, ag- I agree with Brian. You, you should nurture children. Oh, well, okay. Well, that... So there we go. Well, anyway, so we, we uh, rear children, just pull, pull them out of the ground That's and drag it. them along behind us. Um, if you're Like I say, if you're new to this channel, thank you for being here. Um, five years ago, Brian and I took our children who were then 16 and 13. We traveled the world with them for a year. And when we came back, we decided that we would no longer be doing the nine to five job. Brian working in his trade, we would set out to become location independent entrepreneurs and now we do eight to eight (laughs) so now we just never stop working what happened (laughs) (laughs) oh welcome back i hope your week has been absolutely brilliant like i say we've got a great show for you we're going to be talking about well we're going to be talking about struggles and what was the word no not struggles yeah struggles and triumphs yeah but parenting struggles and triumphs yes because it's struggling as not struggles yeah exactly what you said really yeah is that right, Brian? Yeah. Are you, is that but okay you know with you what? and There's, your YouTube, yeah, your one YouTube so, fan that agrees with everything you well, say? That's it. One's enough for me. <laughs> the thing is, it's um. So you've made me. I've lost. I've lost my train of thought now so i'll throw it back to you go on what were you gonna say um it, it's not really struggles because there's, there's no real book for parenting is there like you know because everyone no. is different and every individual situation and every day is bloody different isn't yeah. it like you know so, you know, but how, today how, we're going to be talking about something that happened with our son. And we should we, we, should, we shouldn't say I mean, well, we should say he's a child because obviously he's, well, a, little, child. he's a little boy. Yeah. He's 20. He's, this yeah. tw- and turns he still 20. at home, <laughs> like he used to say on his podcast all those years ago. <laughs> he turns 22 in June and something happened at the weekend. And we decided to share that with you today because it was a, a struggle and something that we thought, oh, no, now we're rubbish parents. Yeah, but this is going the wrong way. And how we came out of it the other side. Yeah, exactly. We're also going to be sharing with you today some listener love, which is just where we give a shout out to the people on this podcast who were just so gorgeous and lovely. And this is a special listener love because mm-hmm. last podcast I asked if anyone would like me to keep reading my snippets of my book that I am yeah. currently right, well, just about to publish. Yes. And we had some lovely responses from people who said, please keep reading your book, Liz. And so later on in the podcast, I'm going to be reading the introduction to my book that is due to be released in a few weeks time. I know. So we will also be just catching up on a bit of book news about yep. how things are going there. And like I say, just reading out the introduction. So should we just jump straight let's into jump the show straight then, in, Brian? Hey, yes, we're have a couple you, of have, minutes in, so let's jump in. Have you remembered what you were going to say? Because you said, oh, I've, you've lost your trail of thought. Are you feeling all right now then? No, no, I said what my trail of thought what was. What was it? It was about being a parent. Oh, okay. Was that it, yeah, was it? It was, yeah. So what happened was this, right? So we've got Sonny living at home. He's 22 in June. And on Saturday night, well, first of all, you should know that on Friday, I finished my book like the whole manuscript, I finished all the edits that the editor had given me. 
and I sent it back to the editor to proofread, yep. which we will talk about that later. So I was in, the reason you need to know that is because I was in a, a, a bit of a, a celebratory. Well, we wanted it to be a celebratory weekend, didn't we? Did, we did, like, you know, So we were just going to carry it on through. We were it, up no matter for it, weren't what. we? Yeah, yeah. We were like. We didn't say what your mum said. Well, do you know, I will say what my mum, <laughs> do you know what my mum said? I phoned her out and I said, she said, well, have you finished? And I said, yeah. She went, right, go out now and get hammered. <laughs> absolutely drunk yeah. for those of you who don't know the british slang hammered means get off your face drunk basically yeah she just said go and celebrate you have worked so hard go and have a really good weekend yeah and so that was our intention wasn't it yeah. right and I, I think the other thing that was funny that she said was oh that's it you've got nothing else to do now i know i know <laughs> how brilliant's that but she just meant you know the know, actual writing of it, it yeah it's, yeah but it's just like it's almost like that's it you don't have to do anything yeah. for the next 10 years or whatever like you know so here we are on friday night all planned for this weekend we're like this is going to be such brian went out and bought champagne and we got some i think we went and got green lip mussels we live in new zealand so we got these green lip mussels and really nice uh i think we got some steak or uh, yeah oh, we, we had steak, we had didn't lamb we? didn't we oh was it lamb steaks yes, it lamb, we just yeah. had it all planned and nothing was going to ruin our fantastic celebration <laughs> weekend where Liz the, the is just going to... The weekend we looking for. Yeah, we had. Yeah, we had. Yeah. It was like, oh, yeah. The, anyway, so I said to Sonny, are you out this weekend, Sonny? Hoping that he would go, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go well, out. He and... does, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he does. He's, he's in a show and he's got rehearsals and things, but the, yeah, apparently, apparently not. Not yeah. this weekend. And he goes, no, no, I'm in all... I'm in, I'm in on Saturday. You know when you hear the words, I'm in on Saturday yeah. night? And it was like... Oh, really? You know? You don't want to spend you don't... Saturday night with your mum and dad. I know. And but his, sounds... his girlfriend's down in Christchurch. So, yeah. I mean, that's a big city down on the South Island. Too far away to go and see her. And the thing is, I, I think what as well that makes it a little bit worse is at the moment, he's on this real health thing. So he's going to the gym all the time. And that's fantastic. We're all for that. That's brilliant. But the only thing with that is he won't have a drink. So he won't have a glass of wine because he's got this thing now that wine is evil and full of all these calories. Well, is, yeah. and, well obviously it well, is, it is, but it's, it's a good it's, evil it's, for us, it's isn't it? It's not a health drink, is it? Like, well, you know, sure. Don't say. even go, to, yeah. don't start your Do you know what someone before. said the other day? They said, why would you want to drink disinfectant? Who said that? I don't know, that's what someone said. What, to, I, to you? No, on, on a podcast I was listening to and I just thought, oh, you're going a little bit over the top now. Well, that's just ridiculous, yeah, it isn't is, it? Isn't what's, it? About, yeah. what, what's wrong with a bit of Domestos with it? <laughs> well, you know, Let's drink some disinfectant this week. You don't need to buy wine. Let's oh, buy well, this each, no, Brian, Brian, I know, it each is, to it's, their own. They totally understand us. Yeah, so yeah. that's fine, isn't it? It's like saying, uh, anyway, I'm not even going to go there. So just yeah. stop trying to butt in on the story Okay. and listen. So, yes, so that Back makes, so I just want to set the scene, okay? So yeah. not only are we up for it, and not only are we going to be thinking, you know, we are celebrating, but now not only is my very lovely son going to be just celebrating with us, but also my very lovely son who is on a health. And, you know, when they, they look at you, don't they? Yeah. they? Have you noticed? Keeps glancing down at the glass. Every time you fill my glass up, he glances down yeah. at it. He doesn't say anything, but I know what he's thinking, Bri. Yeah. He's thinking, well, she's an alcoholic. <laughs> she she's, needs to she's cut had down. She's <laughs> But the the only great side of it, what he is on at the moment, he's on a bulking diet. Oh, I love which that. Which is like, wow, he just eats anything that yeah. you put in front of him, which is great because last time when he was on his health kick, he was like not eating anything, wondering why he was going dizzy when he was in the gym. Yeah. 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 So this time it's no, the other way around. He's doing, he's doing absolutely fantastically. He's he's just doing fantastic. I just want to tell you a little bit about our son before we go in on any any further you just need to know about Sonny so those of you who have been listening to this podcast from day dot you will know that me and Sonny started this podcast yeah, together hundred odd episodes ago yeah yeah we came back from that world trip that I just told you about earlier and we're sitting on the plane and he's always been a content creator he's always been he was always one of these kids that just wanted to vlog about his life and put it on whatever little channel there was going at the time and yeah. he's, he's tried everything hasn't he yes he has. and we were sitting still is and we were yeah. sitting on the plane coming back from our world trip five years ago or four when was it four years ago Anyway. 2018. Yeah. And he said, he said, we should do something together. And I'm like, oh yeah, brilliant. Like this is this is when when your son is 17, he still wants to do things with you. 
And I said, what, oh, what do you think we should do? He said, well, we could do a podcast. You know, they're getting yeah. really big now, podcasts. So me and Sonny started this podcast together where we would just talk about being a son and a mum. And, yeah. and they're, they're great podcasts. They so you are, go back and listen to it. the early days, you'll see the, the thumbnails different in the, in the early days. It, there's not me on it. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, and yeah, it's You always it's used to do all the sound and everything. I used to sit there with my headphones on because yeah. we didn't have much equipment and it was all analogue and... Everything that to be, um, you know, I didn't know anything about post production and stuff like that back then, mm. so I had to get it right on the on the on the fly. And then as the years, we did it for about a year, and we would talk about parenting and being a kid and being a teenager and what it was like. And it was, I loved it. I loved every single episode with him. Um, and then it sort of like evolved into talking about New Zealand because we lived in New Zealand, obviously. And then it gradually he didn't want to do it anymore. Well. It got to that stage where it was like, oh, really? Oh, Sonny, remember we've got to do a podcast today. Oh, really? Because I was just going to go out. Oh, well, you know, it's only going to take an hour. An hour? Oh, and it, it made me feel like, oh, this isn't right. You yeah. know, I don't want to be dragging him to the microphone every time I want to do a podcast. And that's how it did used to feel because he used to edit them, edit it at the same yeah. time, didn't it? Because I, I didn't know how to use any of the programs or anything. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's not that. Surely that is a natural thing. I mean, I look at these. Sometimes you see these mother and sons or mother and daughters or mm. and they they've, they've done it for years and you know these families that you see have you ever seen them on youtube and they start off like little kids i know yeah but and they're still yeah, going they're still like doing you know? it. yeah yeah and yeah. that must just take a lot of uh, what's the word it would just take a lot of understanding on all parts to go okay yeah. well if you're not feeling it today Shall know, we do it tomorrow? The, 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 I don't know how they'd get around yeah. that. Well, we I did notice know. that on on that world trip, didn't we? Because we we wanted to set out doing a vlog from day one, and they just like you're not doing that. Yeah, and yeah. Then that just put us off it, and just like no, well, we won't be doing that then, will we? So so anyway, so you know, eighteen months pass by, and then Sonny starts thinking he wants to do his own thing, which is fair enough. Uh, Brian steps up. Thank you very much, Brian. Yeah. Steps up to the microphone. We start talking about New Zealand the whole podcast kind of became about New Zealand. And then last year we split the podcast in two and we started NZ Ahead, which is a podcast dedicated totally to New Zealand and had the It's a Drama podcast that you're listening to now as ha as our, like I said to you at the beginning of the show. The one where we waffle on. It's just, a, yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's a podcast about life living your life it's basically. trying to be real just, isn't it you know yeah that's, it's, that's, it's that's very what we real. always try and bring over it's just our real experiences and everything that goes on yeah, and i we, just think that's 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 what's real in life isn't it it is you know? and we spend a lot of time traveling we spend a lot of time figuring things out yeah we spend a lot of time trying to make money online and we just want to share that with you yeah and right now yeah so anyway so there there is sunny and when sunny left the podcast he went on to just focus entirely on content creation for himself yes so he did loads of youtube he started a minecraft channel and then he went on tiktok mm -hmm. and i remember him saying to us about it was about two years ago maybe he said if i could get to a hundred thousand followers on tiktok i would just be so happy fast forward to now he has got almost a million followers on tiktok he does um videos minecraft gaming videos aimed at the younger audience and he has created a safe place where he plays minecraft and entertains these people so his audience yeah. is predominantly kids from about 12 upwards uh, 12, you 12 say? upwards up to you know up to adults up, up adults. to single mums yeah. of 30 odd year, 30 yeah. 20 odd years 30 years old even like he's you know? got a huge audience he yeah. is brilliant at what he does he spends hours and hours and hours and hours doing stuff for no money whatsoever because that's what it's like when you do exactly like this yeah. you know you do it he because you a, love he, it he makes a little money doesn't he but yeah, not he it's not enough he, he, he's got his own business where he goes and teaches music as yeah, well yeah he teaches he? music stuff. at but schools his, his online stuff he's, he's just been um he's now an official partner of twitch isn't it which is a streaming platform um and that's that's huge to get to that because you know this i think it's only the top five or ten percent that of streamers that can get to that point where they're actually a, a, an official partner of twitch and every day he comes in he comes in from his job is is like bryce said he's got his own business where he teaches music to primary school kids at schools he goes around independent schools and you know goes around as, a, a, as an independent freelance, freelancer, freelance teacher yeah. and every day he comes in he'll be in in a minute he comes in because what time is it now it's half one yeah he comes in about half one two o'clock he has his lunch and then he goes into his room, he sets up all his computer and all his cameras and all his microphones. And at three o'clock, he will stream for 
two hours, sometimes Maybe three, three. Hours. Yeah. and he is giving it all he has got. And he's just like, hi guys, this is Sonny, I'm back to, and these people, they gather and they watch him every single day. And they sometimes they donate money and sometimes they do whatever they're doing. But the reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to know that that is what he does for his job. For his, his yeah. dream is to become a full-time content creator, entertainer, just this uplifting person who entertains and inspires and on all the rest of it. All right. So now you know, Sonny. That's very important that yeah. you know that. Be yeah, because he's, he's, a, he's a very sort of independent person. Yeah, but it's important know. that you know that because yeah. of the, the story that we're just about to tell you. Yeah. Right. Okay. And, yeah. And that's one of the reasons why he lives at home is so we can help him out so he can get to a point. Because, yeah, he'd struggle if he was... Um, you know, but he's he, not earning enough money, is no, he? No, it's, he's just it's not... so expensive to buy a house in yeah. New Zealand, isn't it? So, you know, in, if, he, if he was renting a place, he'd have to have a, like a studio where he could do this, like, you know. Anyway, so there we are. We light a big fire outside. This is Saturday night now. Friday, we, we did our thing on Friday and then Saturday comes around and it's like, right, this is the weekend and we're really going to enjoy this. And Second bottle of yeah, champagne. Yeah, the second bottle of champagne is bought and the fire gets lit outside. It was a beautiful starry evening. Really, it's autumn in New Zealand at the moment and it was just one of those gorgeous, cold but still yes. nice enough to stand outside yeah. around the fire pit. just about see your breath at night oh it was beautiful yeah anyway so the wine was flowing you know and maybe that was the problem because yep yeah, okay we've had a couple of glasses of wine now bottles but and then we sit down to eat and he said he just turned up now hasn't he i better I hurry know, up yeah, and say I don't it know. no i think that's a, that's a farm tractor i think going by um yeah. he he started mentioning something about the war or Russia or something like that. And you you said something like, I, I can't remember what it was, but all of a sudden the, the conversation got quite somber because obviously you're talking about the a war and it's going clock. to. Oh, is that what it the was? The doomsday clock. That's it. We're 70 seconds. We've never been this far towards the doomsday clock in all of recent history as 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 known you know because even the he was saying the cuban missile crisis actually has just turned up i know we like, better keep our voice was, down it's like five minutes <laughs> Don't five tell minutes him to midnight so now it's only 70 <laughs> seconds to midnight yeah and i'm just like so straight away as a parent you just your back goes up and go oh i don't want you living in fear exactly that's what it is isn't it yeah and so you you're like that, that's a load of rubbish there. Well, no, I didn't In, say that's a load of rubbish. No, but that's but what, what we wanted to, that's yeah. what you, deep down you want to say. Don't of course you know, it is, you know? because yeah. you've got this kid sitting opposite you, not kid, you know, young yeah. adult, wonderful, young, lovely adult sitting opposite you. Yeah. He then goes on to say, while we're at it, how is anyone in this world supposed to be able to afford to buy a house and how it's all right for you because your generation didn't have it hard like us. Anyway, so it comes this and that and all this about, he starts showing this, this signs of like, you know, it's going to be hard for people our age to get ahead and well, we'll get on the housing market and stuff like market. that. And, uh, and, and then all this sort of like negative stuff starts coming at us, doesn't it? Like, you know, and not only that, but this and that, and we're, you know, well, we're, it, it, what, what was the biggest thing was the blame that, that he said, like, you haven't seen these things on the internet. Like, you know, when was the last time you listened to something from someone's younger perspective? Because obviously we don't. Yeah, but you do. Cause you straight away, <laughs> yeah, but straight away you go in, well, yeah, I listen to people around my age or mm. listen to people. I don't know. People that, I've lived on this planet a little bit longer and got a bit more experience and stuff like that. And he's like, well, oh, it's, it's, it's your generation is to blame. Well, anyway, you're so like, what? N well, yeah, <laughs> but the thing, the thing that really stood out. Okay. So this happened, we're being really honest with you. We didn't have to tell you this, that, you know, this is something that happened in our family and I, I'm not, you know, I could have sugarcoated it, but I'm not going to. So anyway, all this comes at us and rather than being like, oh, okay, you've got a valid point or maybe we want to listen to what you want to say. We, well, I'm yeah, not, that's, I don't want to, I don't want... protective wanna, parent comes yeah. out, doesn't it? Like, you know, and, and it's, it, it's... This is how we handled it. I went and said, oh, don't be so silly. You've got nothing to worry about. This and that, you know, that, you know, there's lots of ways you could make money. There's lots of things you could do. And Brian handled it in... When we were, you know, can you believe when I realised when, when we were, when I tell you what, you think you've got it. This is, I, I swear to God, this is what we said, right? We said, I you, this is so embarrassing. We went, <laughs> you went. <laughs> he said, how am I supposed to get on the uh, property market? And me and Brian said, oh, I tell you what, when we got our first house, well, it there was gun. What did I say? What what rubbish? What's I saying? There was. 
there was gun holes in the side of the road because it yeah. was in the side of the wall because it was it, it was a drug den. But it was. It, 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 there was no gun no, marks was no, in the side. There was side. no gun marks Why did in the I back. Say that? But yeah, I don't know because yeah, I think I was you, trying to make it sound bad. Yeah, like a really bad. Like it was like a gunfight at the LK Corral. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Victorian house. <laughs> that um, it had been repossessed, basically. And that's yeah, what it was we a repossession. We, we bought the cheapest house in the town. It was an ex-drug dealer's house. It was, but there was yeah. no gun gun no, holes but there in was, the wall. There was a um, there was a whole pit in the back garden, which was been when I was turning over the garden because it was such a mess. That was just car radios all been burnt and Do you but, mean uh, stolen? Stuff? Stolen, yeah. yeah. And obviously the, the they've been uh, rattled by the police or whatever it was, and um, just burnt them all. So, so this is going back to nineteen ninety four, is it? Ninety two. Ninety two yeah. or whatever when we bought yeah. our first house. But anyway. the point is, we were we were those parents sat at that table on Saturday night that said. It almost like we're trying to outdo him, like you know, like I know. you think you've got it bad, but we yeah, had well, it, it was worse. Like, yeah, yes, just think. You... To be honest, Brian, I think we did. I stand by my, I stand by that. But you're not supposed to say that, are you? <laughs> no, you're not. Because no. it's not very. No, you, you're caring. supposed to be able to listen to what they they say and and practice the old four second rule. Yeah. But we weren't. We were like, no, no. I mean, when I was allowed, we we just constant. Uh, we were in the Cold War. It was a constant fight for. Uh, did you mention new, new, that? Yeah, I did. I just said that we were always under threat of a nuclear attack from Russia. And it was just like, what? <laughs> so anyway, this... And we got blamed for climate change as well. Oh, we got blamed for everything that night. We, but to be honest, Bri, if your parents are sitting there saying they've had gun, gunshot wall, uh, so, holes in the wall and yeah. we had to get... You, you, I said, do you know what I said? I said, you think you've got it bad, Sonny? I said, I used to go out. I was working as a waitress. I used mm. to get up at six o'clock in the morning. Working in the chip shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mentioned the chip you shop. You mentioned the chippy. <laughs> chippy was brought in. I was working as a waitress. Then I went and worked in the chip shop. And then when I came home, I was doing this and that. And then your dad, he was up at... Three o'clock in the morning, plastering the bathroom. Never went to bed, luxury. Plastering the holes, the gunshot holes in the thing. <laughs> it was just, and he sat there and he drummed his fingers on the table, he did, didn't he? A few times. And he said to me, well, he, actually, he said it to me, and it's not fair because you were saying the most of it, but he directed this at me. He said, do you know what? He said, everything I've talked to you, everything, I shouldn't laugh, everything I've said to you tonight, he said, you've just completely and utterly disagreed and just poo-pooed everything just I said. Just wiped it, wiped it away. Yeah. And I went, and I felt really yeah. wounded then. Uh, and uh, I went, yeah, what I, I, How did we both feel? It was like, oh. I know. Bad parents. We did. And then it was like. <laughs> 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 and then not only that, he kept looking at the wine glass. And I was like, I wanted to defend myself. I wanted mm. to say, excuse me, I've just finished writing my book. I'm supposed to be celebrating. But yeah. no. But here we are having this really. Why is it when you just want the the evening to go lightly, yeah. you end up having a flipping on it was in depth. Yeah, but I know it was discussion just like, like that. There's yeah, no it was need like, for it, it. It was like talking to like religion or politics at the table, yeah. wasn't it? It was that thing. The worst thing to me it was the wine bottle was out of reach <laughs> yeah. for me, and I couldn't get it. And I was like. Mm. <laughs> I wanted to reach over and get it, but I thought I can't move. And I was trying to kick bad. you under the table because you yeah. weren't practicing the four minute rule. The four the four, yeah, there was the four minute rule. Anyway, all this, all this happened, right? And what, I, what the reason I wanted to tell you that because I'm justifying myself now for being a little rat bag know it all parent, but in my mind, I thought. How can you be like this? How can you have so much fear? And it's it's social media, Brian. Well, it is. That's what we got round to because we, we we mentioned the amount of time spent, you know, um, just consuming you know, social yeah, media and all this bad news and yeah, stuff. It's like critical news network. And what I wanted thing. to say to him was like, how if your job on on this planet is to entertain, you know, you're an ent entertainer, an inspirer, uh, an uplifter, you know, when people talk to you, they are uplifted. Yeah. And if you consume, this is what I wanted to say, but it didn't come out like this at all. It just came out total ramble and just horrible and horribleness. But what I, this is what I wanted to say is if you consume all this negativity, then how can you give back positivity well, exactly yeah but you know? that's and, and that's the thing and 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 he was saying he was saying oh yeah but you've got to be aware of this things and not be ignorant and I, yeah. I get that like you know but it's just being aware and then not letting it yeah consume you it, it, it the, the the thing is is what people and it, uh, this is not like saying get confused over but it's that it's it's that thing what's happening the other side of the world 
you know, when really you don't really think about what's happening two, sto- two, two doors down or even next door to you where you live like you know so why would it make any difference that the person over the other side of the world this is what's going on and this is really bad or to where you live where you are you know we've all got our own troubles and tribulations in in life but it's that thing of like don't put too much energy into that side of things until you you're at a point where you can help out or you could do something different like you know but you just you know Mm. to, to just get this constant Negativity and we're all guilty of, of it. Of course, we're, we're all guilty know. of it. Well, the thing is, and, and I know we did, but we, we unplugged our TV many, many years ago. Like, yeah, no, I know. Almost like 20 years ago. Like, but you know, what because... I'm saying is you are still, it's, and I get it. I get that that generation is yeah. like, they've got all this information and all this thing. But like we said, you know, it's your choice. You can turn it off anytime you want. You can yep, choose what exactly. you listen to and all the rest yep. of it. Anyway, the reason for this is, so Saturday night ended up being like, I just think I just went to bed and I just was crying as if like, you know, oh, it's just like, just you know, yeah, we, what yeah. sort of parents are we like? You and we know, weren't that... drunk by the stretch of imagination. It wasn't, yeah, not, we not, not like, we were only joking God, with, no, with the wine and stuff. You up that it was, it was a very sobering moment, like, yeah. you know, because it was just like, oh, uh, look, we just, what, what you're trying to preach all the time, not preach, but just um, practice what you preach type thing. Um, you, you just go and shoot yourself in the foot by not being mindful enough of what the situation was happening. So the next day we we we, we thought about this and we, we, we went for a walk and we took the dog out in the morning and we said, this is Sunday, yesterday. And we said, let's just go and go for a really long bush walk. Let's get out into nature. Let's just leave the phones, computers, everything, you know, just leave all that at home and let's just go and let's just talk about about parenting, basically, you know, about just about how we address things. And yeah, how we... I mean, we didn't go on that mission for the walk to just talk about that, did we? No, we we didn't, just but to it go was on, on a walk, mind, Brian. But yeah. So we started talking about it on the walk, is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. when we were on it, we were talking and yeah. we were just saying, what could we have done differently? What what could we have said differently? Why? The thing that stuck in my mind was everything I say, you poop heart, and it was just, yeah, it, I know. it hurt me that. Well, this is what we were talking about. It was like, so, so, say someone else, like a friend or someone that you just know, was having dinner with you and, you know, Sonny's not his son and Sonny's talking the same things to him. Normally, so normally you, you actually, oh, this guy's coming up with some really great points here. Like, you know, oh, yeah, I totally agree with that, Sonny. Totally agree with that because he's not the parent. And that's what we were saying in yeah. our minds. It's just like, and then you'd have this person like, oh, you know, that would give sunny confidence to then carry on the conversation. Mm. But when you're getting shot down and shot down again, it's like, no, that's not right. That's not true. Well, and Sonny's going, yes, it is, because all these people are saying it. Yeah. So it, it, it's what they're they're thinking. And that's what we were saying. That's what the, the guilt from us was like, we didn't treat him as... Um, not a normal person. What's the word I should look for? Because he's <laughs> a totally normal, normal person. Uh, Do you know what we did, Bri? What? We acted we, out of fear is what we did. We yes. acted as any parent does. Because you don't want to see them upset. Because you don't. You yeah. don't want to see them go down that slippery slope of everything's terrible, everything's yeah. horrible, yeah. and I'm going to get depressed and sit in my room and just never, ever entertain anyone ever yeah, again. And I'm giving up everything I've ever done because the world's, the world's over. crap. Yeah. yeah, because yeah. we're two seconds away from whatever this yeah. doomsday thing no is that they're talking yeah. about. No point in doing it all because we're only 70 yeah. seconds away. And that, I think, is the the reason that well I'm talking for myself yeah. that's the reason I acted as I did because it was yeah. like oh no 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 please 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 don't don't go down that route no no no, yeah, yeah, no, no you, everything's you're brilliant yeah, everything's yeah. fine yeah. you're going to be fine mm-hmm. we'll look after you you know you're brilliant at what you do and all that sort of stuff but he didn't see it like that no he just saw it like you're not even listening yeah and you just to be poop, honest, poop I probably boring. wasn't. Well, you were, but you just... It, I was it's, trying, It's but... the mum side of you. It's the dad side of you. It's just like exactly what you've just said, isn't mm. it? So, but I think the... Like I say, this, this was going to be a struggle and a triumph. And I think the triumph came... Well, for one, I was really, really proud of us for being the kind of parents who didn't just think, sod that, we were right. Stupid we, young chap. Yeah, we yeah. were right. What's he on yeah. about? We were right. We were right. At least we went on that walk in New Zealand and said, mm. what could we have done differently and what will we do differently again? Yep. And I just want to give a shout out to you, Big Brian. Oh, I said Big oh, Brian. Big then. Brian. <laughs> oh, God, where did that Where's come he? from? <laughs> it's normally the other way around. <laughs> the little legs. Oh, see how that came see out that? just naturally, yeah, Brian. Yeah, see that? That's because oh. I'm sitting in the big chair. Oh, I wonder what that is. Yeah. Don't know. Anyway, I want to give a big shout out to you. But oh, that was it. I wanted to give a big, a big shout, shout out, out to you, to you Big, big Brian. Brian. Yeah. Because we went on this walk 
and we talked about it and we were like, yeah, well, okay, what? try and see it from his point of view, take everything into consideration. How could we do it differently? And, you know, like you just said, what? Well, how would we do it if it wasn't our son? If it was yeah. someone had come for dinner, like a couch surfer or whatever, and they were talking to us, we wouldn't have just said all that stuff. So last night at dinner, when we were having dinner last night, right. so I just that, wanted to... That's the thing we always do as a family is sit and eat. Together. Every night we have Even though there's only the three of us at yeah. the moment because Tess is away. But Whether he likes it or yeah. not, he's yeah. dragged yeah. to that table. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, and they're not allowed any phones or anything like that. You know, we don't, I, I say we're not like, we just don't have any technology at the table. Yeah, so well, that's well, the other yeah. thing. And Brian, I really did notice how, what, what are you looking worried for? Well, as soon know. as I, I start saying something nice say. to you. I know, because I'm waiting for the punchline. No, there is no, I'm being genuine. <laughs> okay. You, Brian, big Brian. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no. So you know what I mean? Is, no, I just, I want to compliment you. Okay. Because Far away. I noticed that you were leading the conversation with lots of open questions and, yes. and asking him lots of questions. Yeah. And I loved that. Yeah. I thought you did such a good job. And I was just like, that's brilliant. Because rather than being like, you know, and, and I noticed that your questions contained a lot of how did you feel or what, you know, I, I you just did a really good job. I yeah. just want to say that. And well, I think that, that was the, yes, that I, was. I, I that, can see when he. Hang on, full oh, second okay. rule. That was. <laughs> That was the triumph because you took on our speech, you know, yes. our, our, what we were saying on our walk. Yeah. Oh, is there anything nicer than just being out in nature and no, just having that time yeah. and that space and that energy and just that air and just, oh, it was gorgeous. I loved yeah. it, Brian. Oh, that's what you find in New Zealand. When you do go out for a walk, you can virtually be the only ones on the walk sometimes. Yeah, we didn't see you know, our soul, did you know. we? But it's a bliss. Sunday, you know, imagine all these, because they call them tramp tramping over here, don't they? Like, you know, uh, when you go walking or hiking. And it is, it was what, I don't know, it was 6K walk or something like that, wasn't it? Up, up through the bush and everything like that. It was up in the rainforest. It's, it's gorgeous up there, isn't it? Like, you know, so really tell really me, is. tell me before we leave this subject, yep. just tell me then how you, how, you know, if you're listening to this and you're a parent and you're like, I want to be like, you know, I, that, I'm, I am sure we are not the only parent listening to this podcast, on this podcast that have just gone through what we went through on Saturday night. Oh, no. So yeah. how did you, how did you tackle it? How, we had such a lovely night last night. How what, yeah. what was different, Brian? Um, I think what it was is the other night I'd I'd, I'd spent because um, uh, he he Sunny's out most nights, but you were going out to the theatre one night, and um, I just said to him, "Hey, let's." Um, he because he, he was we were talking about something, and he said, "Oh, well, James Bond film. I, I want to see that one. Um, I'd, I'd love to see it again, like, you know." Um, well, I can't really remember which film it was now. Wasn't that the Quantum Solace, the one after that? And um, anyway, I was just thought, hey, well, why don't we watch a James Bond film? And I'll just do some like chicken and the chips or something or whatever it was. And we just had such a great night, and we were laughing together at the film. Like, why would you do this? Why would you do that? And I just think, oh, that's that connection, isn't it? Like, you know, and it's just that. So I just thought, you just not to be such. A, you need to get into the skin and everything. Just let them talk and just yeah. let them them do it. And and I and I know he's struggling because you know um, his girlfriend moved away only what four or five weeks ago. So she's she's at um, uh, college down uh, at uni down in um, Christchurch, and he's missing her. And I know he is. So and his sister isn't here, and he's missing yep. her. Tess is in Wellington, as yep. you know, and so that's our daughter, and she's down in Wellington. And yeah, he, I bet you, I bet he just thinks, oh, I wish she was back yeah, here because at least he had a little bit of, you know. Yeah, and all his friends, two of his support. best, two of his best friends, one's down in Christchurch, um, and the other one's down in Wellington. Mm. Like you know, so they're all it's all because it's that age, isn't it, where you know people move away and stuff like you know. And I could just see that you know, so we we were talking about um, relationships and stuff, weren't we? Like you know, and I just. Well, that's what I just thought. Well, do you know what? Instead of me saying about, oh, this what happened to me in my relationship, that's what I went through. That's what I went through. It's not all about your experience. I know, because I know. And that's, that's what you've got to remember, isn't it? Isn't it's just it? like, it's just step back from but, tell everyone your experience. It's a diff, yeah, it is. But it's a, it's a difficult thing that because yeah. you want to share your experience because this happened to us when we did that and yeah. we made that mistake. And now, like, like, no different than we're doing now, I suppose. Yeah. But kids, our kids, they don't want to hear it. No, they don't. Not from an old man. No, I don't yeah, do mean know, that. Yeah, but it is. That's what no, he's, that's, it's but, just... but that's what he said about that generational thing, isn't it? It's like, you've got a different opinion because you're older. And it's that listening. So mm. it's just listening to them and actually just 
thinking about it and just going, well, actually, well, you were right, because that's what I would have thought at that age. I just wanted to share that anyway. When yeah. we were trying, when we were talking today, we were like, oh, what should we talk about on the podcast? And I just said, that is that was our weekend, you know, that was a yeah. massive thing. And I just think, you know, like you said earlier on in the show, Bri, you just, you, you're thrown into this world, aren't you? That you, you, you're learning it's every single every minute. Every second, yeah. And do you know what the other thing is as well? And that's why I'm really just glad that I've just said to you, well done. Because the other thing I think as a parent, you're so quick to judge yourself on like what you've done wrong and why you shouldn't have said that and why did I do that and what did I look at her like that for? And But you never remember. Like Tessa phoned up last night, for instance. Mm -hmm. She was really upset and she said, I just miss our conversations. Yeah. I miss talking to my family. Yeah. And as I was sat outside on the phone to her, you were cooking the dinner, weren't you? Yeah. You were doing, you were frying that um, pork and everything. And while I was sitting outside on the phone to her, it suddenly registered in my mind. I thought this weekend I've had a conversation with Sunny where it's gone completely wrong. And then my daughter is phoning me up and saying, I miss our conversations. And I just yeah. thought, you know, you take it as a whole. Yeah. You are going to have these big conversations. You're going to have these big experiences and these, you know, this whole thing with your kids. And sometimes you will get it wrong. And sometimes you will think, why did I say that? But what about the times that you go, I want to come home because I, I miss talking to I you. But the, I think this, this is, is such an underrated thing. Um, you know, I, when you, you just said to me a minute ago, the best advice that you can give to another parent would be stop when you have your evening meal. Don't be watching the television. Don't be watching the news because you think you should need you need to watch it. Just switch everything off. Put your devices to one side. Stop talking about what happened on Facebook or this or that. And just connect as a family. It's it's the one of the biggest things when you you listen to these people who live the longest, uh, like the Italians and you know the people who live in Sardinia, Sardinia and stuff like that. It's all about that, the love for the family around you and and all connecting and talking and you know giving off your different experiences. You know it's been great because the the girlfriends and boyfriends of our son and daughter come here and we all have these wonderful nights where you just no one's got a phone or anything yeah. and there's there's a bit of music playing in the background and it's just a brilliant experience and you think well we can't do that with our family it's like we'll try just yeah but i also want to say i also yeah. want to say as well it's all very well going oh yeah turn off the telly and turn off your phones and turn off and don't look at it I, but i just want to just make sure that people are aware we don't have the telly and we don't have the phones but we've just had a horrific not horrific we've just had a, a, a big to do on Saturday night. So I'm yeah, not I'm saying, I know, Brian, I know, it's like, but you... don't, I don't want you to make out that we're this perfect, like, oh, oh like, you know, we get it right because we don't. And that's, that's why we're sharing yeah. this. It's like, yeah. it, you know, it's just that, isn't that life? Isn't that parenting? And isn't yeah. that... The, the amount of times as I've sat at that table and I've been biting my lip and never said a word. And then people just, uh, the, uh, everyone in the family just turned around and said, are you all right? And it's just like, oh, that's because you're moody, though, Brian. I, you do that thing where you just go in a little mood. No, it's not. It's the, that's just me just listening because do you know what? If I say something on this, it'll just go totally the wrong way, like you know. And so I just you end up just being sometimes completely quiet. But you're just so nice just to listen to everyone talking mm. and just think, oh, do you know what? I'll just let that one sail under the under I'm the bridge. Not, I, I must admit, I'm, that is one of my big big weaknesses I just can't keep it shut I just can't stop I try and I'm like Liz just wait just wait and don't say anything don't say anything and I'm just like Bleh. <laughs> just just and then I just run in the bedroom and yeah, start crying <laughs> anyway let's move on let's yeah. move on just think of poo sticks you know when you put the, the the twigs you throw them one side of the bridge and then you run to the other side of the bridge and see which one comes out first just think of things like that for thoughts and just let them just let them go. Brian, I what? hate to point this out and I'm, I'm going to move on now. You should have just taken me up on it. Okay. It's all very well, this poo sticks and floating down the yeah. river. You were there going, oh, when I was a lad, I was mm. cementing the holes up of the gun wounds. Okay, that even were in the though water. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, we're going to move on. So that is that section. I hope you just liked that. I hope you enjoyed that. Right. The next thing I just wanted to talk about was the book. Um, just yep. fill you in on the book. And like I say, just now is the time that I'm going to read the introduction of the book. But before I do that, I just want to give out a big shout out to the people. So what I did, I said, if you'd like me to continue reading um, the introduction of my book, 
please email me. And it takes such a lot to email someone. It really does. It's, and yes, I had does. some lovely, lovely emails. So please just bear with me while I just give a big shout out to these people. So, so and I hope I'm going to pronounce this right. It's C.O. Chun, C.O. Chun from Chengdu in China, which is the hometown of the giant panda, sent me this beautiful mm. email saying, please continue to read your, your book. I, I listen from China. I'm learning English. And just, it was just, oh, I just, I, I like I say, I hope I've pronounced your name right. C.O. Chun. I think that's how you say it. Um, I looked it up on the on the translator. Book. Right. Big shout out to you, to Sherry Hill from Tim Tim from YouTube. He said, "I'm located in Sydney. I like to call it Shitney." <laughs> 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 He's originally from Auckland. He's a mental health social worker, and he comes to Auckland to visit his nana. And he just said, "I am a big nana's boy." So, Tim, I know you 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 com you comment a lot on YouTube, and I just wanted to say a big hi and thank you. Um, Joanne Rosso, oh, lots of people, Melissa, um, Debbie Clark, who says, I'm not a Debbie Downer. My name is Debbie. <laughs> um, Nazareth Bergeron, hello, Helene, Randy and Suzanne, Katerina from Germany, Renata and Lauren and Madison and Alex, you all emailed me to say, please keep reading your introduction. So that is what I'm about to do. But yep. before I do that, I have got a really, and I can't believe I'm going to be saying this, but I am going to do this because I love you so much and I'm so appreciative of your support. I have started a, a like a, a newsletter called the Front Row Newsletter. It's where you're going to get updates of the, the book that is just about to be released and all the goodies that come with that. So news about the audio book and the paperback and when it's, Everything that you need to know about that newsletter, it's like a behind the scenes newsletter. On top of that, what I'm doing is I'm offering people who sign up for this newsletter, and I'm just going to keep this going for, oh, well, I, I suppose, until I'm brave enough to take it back down. Yeah. <laughs> I have made a video of me reading the first chapter of the book. So the introduction of the book, there is a video of me reading that chapter. Yep. Not only that, <laughs> but I'm reading it um, in a place that is, you would never expect someone to be reading a book. So that's all I'm going to say. It's a very, it's a very raw and... <laughs> it is, because I filmed it. <laughs> Brian filmed it. So you're going to get me sitting, reading the book, reading the introduction in my voice, my words to you. And I'm offering this as to those who have signed up to the Front Row Newsletter. Um, if you've already signed up to the Front Row Newsletter, don't worry, I will send you the video. So if you've already signed up and you're thinking, oh no, I've already signed up, I will send you the video. So it's the complete introduction. It's a complete first chapter of the book, the very first thing, but it is me reading it to you. Brian is, fil Brian is filming it. It's, very, it's uncut. It's very, very funny. And I want to send it to you just as a gift of you're never going to see this anywhere else. No. So this is this is your very special thing that I want to give to you. Yeah, because it, it's 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 it's, it, it's the audio book with the visualization yeah. of Liz reading it. Yeah, so it's um, you'll get to see I, my I, acting I, I, skills. I, I did. I loved filming it. It was it was great. So if you would like to get access to that very very personal video of me reading the introduction of the book and sign up to the newsletter that i will tell you all the details of the book and everything that's going on with that you'll be the first to know all this is completely free by the way it costs you nothing go to www.itsadrama.com slash front row all one word front row so www.itsadrama.com dot com slash front row and I will send you the link to the video and yeah you will love it you will absolutely love it yeah. but and please it, don't share it no, just don't, don't share it don't that's share all it I because ask. in in that introduction you do find out something which is quite important really oh yes which you haven't told anyone about the name of the, the name book. of the book and I'm going to be telling you that Either next week or the week after, I'm going yeah. to save it. So, but if you sign up sooner, I mean, yes, by the You're time this is find released, that, that should be ready to go. Because I mention it, yep. yeah. Okay, so shall we? Do, should we jump in and listen to the book, or should we talk about what it's been like for the just? Should we just jump in and no, listen? No, I think it's time to listen to the book now, isn't it? Because okay. we're about forty odd minutes in, yep. aren't we? So. 
And now, introducing Liz's book that's going to be absolutely brilliant. Take it away, Liz. I was always desperate to be a yummy mummy. A yummy mummy. A yamma mama. One of those parents who jogged effortlessly through the park wearing lip gloss and a baseball cap. Pushing a baby in a three-wheeler pram. Never getting the wheels stuck in a drain. Never leaking urine from her pelvic floor. But sadly, it seemed the mummy fairy had me pegged for different things. Cow. After the birth of my son in 2001, who was born three weeks early and arrived carrying a fistful of my poo, followed three years later by my daughter, who sprang into the world via Concord, leaving me traumatised for what seemed like years, it was obvious that my mothering experience would be far from yummy. Scummy. Funny. Bummy. Money. Zapping. Shunny. Cummy. <laughs> Runny, sunny, but never it seemed yummy. Not me. Not today. Not ever. Move along the fairy line, please. Being a woman. There are two kinds of women in this world. The woman who shows up at the airport wearing a white vest and oversized grey track pants. And the woman who shows up at the airport wearing a white vest and oversized grey track pants. It's a trick. They look the same, but are entirely different. I blame it on the mama fairy. She's sick and twisted, and probably has mental issues. The first woman at the airport wears the outfit because an hour earlier, she peeled herself from her Italian lover's sweaty silk-sheeted bed, and after realising she had a flight to catch, quickly snatched his gym pants from the bathroom floor and paired them with the dinky white vest she'd slept in the night before. The one that smells of sex and cigarettes. The other woman wears the same outfit because it's day 22 of her cycle. She has so much water retention, her belly resembles that of a pregnant hippopotamus. <laughs> the stretchy size 20 pants she bought from Primark in the sale are ideal for this long flight. And the white sleeveless vest? It is made of thick, non-see-through cotton, meaning that when she goes to the bathroom an hour into the flight to take off her bra... She can do so without fear of her giant brown nipples being spotted by the air hostess, who would most certainly scream hysterically and throw herself out of the cockpit window. Hello, I'm Liz, woman number two, lover of free-swinging breasts and advocate of baggy pants. As I enter my fifth decade, I have resigned myself to the fact that I never was, there we go. have been, or will be. <laughs> well, I, I can't really comment on that. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know where to start. What, what, what bit's sticking out to you, right? Well, the bits that would stick out. Like? like? Well, the brown nipples. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so if you do enjoyed that introduction, thank you so much for your support. That's how the book opens. Um, next week I'll carry on and I'll go on to tell you all about more about the introduction and but don't forget if you want to see a video of me reading the entire introduction to you please don't share it this is just for you um, sign up to the front row newsletter where I share everything there is to know about this whole book experience and let you have a front row seat because you are so damn special and so lovely. You can go to www.itsadrama.com slash front row and I will send that to you. Yeah, so head on over there now. Yes. Right. Okay. So, oh, okay. well, hopefully you enjoyed that. You got some good stuff out of that and love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your emails. Remember, Liz at itsadrama.com, Brian at itsadrama.com. Let us know if you want to hear more about the book or whatever, just to say hi, just to get some listener love, just to get a shout out. And thank you so, 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 so very much for being with us here today and giving us your time. Thank you. Yep. So Kia Kaha, stay strong. 
Kyu, stay true, and that's true to yourself. And uh, look forward to speaking to you next. I'll see you next time or whatever it is you're supposed to say next. <laughs> okay. okay, see you now. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have loved having you. Don't forget, if you would like that exclusive unreleased video of me reading to you the very first chapter of my yet to be released book, this is top secret, it's very exclusive, and it's just for my subscribers. You can sign up to my front row newsletter by going to www itsadrama.com slash front row. Sign up for that. I will send you the video. You are going to laugh your head off. You're going to love it. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs>